Grundy County Speedway southwest of Chicago hosts the ASA Quick Trip Midwest Tour presented by Echo Outdoor Power Equipment. Winning this event will take a big effort. Minnesota's Dan Fredrickson comes in at the top of the series point standings and the defending race champion. These short tracks are bump and grind, which I like that. Um, it's just more on the edge, I guess. It's probably fun to watch. There's a lot of history and tradition here at the Grundy County Speedway, and local drivers think they have what it takes to compete with the Midwest Tour's finest. Um, if you're intimidated, you might as well stay home. Um, this only makes us work harder and, uh, and want it even more. Uh, you know, bring them on, and we'll see what we can do with them. Well, they're a great bunch of drivers. Everybody has good equipment. Uh, these guys are real racers. You know, they race all over the Midwest, and uh, they're a tough bunch of guys to compete against. And uh, we're struggling a little bit today, but uh, we're going to stay after it and see if we can do some good. And there's a big show that comes to town. I mean, uh, you know, you're going to get your three or four top dogs that uh, race here every week that are going to show up. And, uh, you know, that just obviously adds to, to the excitement, I guess. 16 drivers qualify for the 100 lap feature in time trials, with Johnny Sauter setting quick time. Now a pair of qualifying races will round out the field. The top three from each make the main event. In the first, it's Andrew Morrissey of DeForest, Wisconsin with the win, ahead of fellow Wisconsin racers Matt Kasurik and Frank Cryer. Morrissey enters the night second in Midwest Tour points. Yeah, pretty much just every week kind of try to do the best I can, you know, and just mostly just try to win the races, and I don't really, or I try not to pay any attention to the points and just do the best I can every time I go out there. In the second qualifier, it's former hockey linesman Stevie Campbell in the 94 car, out front of Midwest Tour regular Kyle Comas of Freedom, Wisconsin. Campbell is a regular here at Grundy, and he'll take the win ahead of Calmus and fellow Wisconsin driver Mark Krauss. Count Stevie Campbell among the locals looking forward to the 100 lap feature. It's a proud accomplishment. This is, uh, this is a tough goal with this crowd. These guys are, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty much professionals at short track racing. So for a, a local team effort to uh, come in and attempt to make the field, uh, it's a tough, it's, it's, again, it's tough sledding with these guys. You have to be on your game. The 16 fast qualifiers are split into fast heat races and they're racing for points that make a difference in the championship standings. Steve Carlson of West Salem, Wisconsin in the 66 holds numerous touring series titles. It's Carlson taking the first heat ahead of fellow Wisconsin racer Chris Wimmer in the 52. We're green in the second fast heat race and that's the 87 of 2007 Midwest Tour champ Nathan Hosley out front. In the battle for second, it's Tim Schendel getting past tour rookie Nick Merjik in the 12 car. Up front, Hosley off to a tough start in 08, takes his first checkered flag of the year and hopes to turn things around. You know, everybody's joking around in the trailer and stuff, first win of the year, and, you know, it's just a heat race, but everybody's joking around, and, you know, maybe uh, the way it's been going, maybe it'll change things around a little bit. The last chance qualifying race will put two more drivers in the main event. Former USAC and ARCA series veteran Dave Weltmeyer wants badly to get into the show, but he'll fall two spots short. Up front, it's Chris Kelly in the 77 ahead of Brandon Hill's 34 car. Kelly traveled all the way from northern Michigan. He's very glad to make the show. We left uh, Norway, Michigan at 3 o'clock this morning. It took us six and a half hours to get here, so I guess to pack up and go home would be a big disappointment, and I uh, hate to see my guys ever disappointed, so we, uh, tr we do everything we can do to try to make our way into these races. There's a lot going on at Midwest Tour events long before the green flag waves. We'll take a look behind the scenes and check out highlights of the main event at Grundy County Speedway right after this. The next time you're ready to do lawn work, have the next best thing to a professional lawn crew waiting for you. Reach for the tools they rely on. Echo Power Tools. For power, for durability, season after season, Echo Power Tools have been the leading choice of professionals for years. Every Echo uses revolutionary two-stroke engine technology, and every Echo carries the highest performance rating there is. So put an Echo, Echo. Echo. in your garage. Available at leading lawn care equipment dealers nationwide. Long before the first engine is fired, ASA Midwest Tour personnel are at the track setting up shop. It's a lot of work to put on events like this. Many pull double duty in their roles at the various tour stops. And there is a business side of this racing business. That the Midwest Tour works closely with its sponsors in an ongoing basis reaching out to fans young and old at the racetrack. 
on the track it will come down to 100 laps in the Echo Power Blower 100 presented by ProSource Motorsports and Hype Energy Drink. Wisconsin driver Jeff Storm in the 25 brings the field to green and we are underway at Grundy County Speedway. Behind the leader it's Dundas Minnesota's Donnie Reavers in the 41. Local driver Brett Sontag in the 5 and touring star Travis Sauter right behind in his 5 car. Another local Mike Heiss in the double zero is doing battle with Tim Schendel's 21 and the 77 of 07 Midwest Tour Rookie of the Year Jonathan Island. The yellow waves early. Brian Roach has gone around in his 99 car. Back under green and it's Russ Blakely in the 22. Heiss and Schendel trying to chase down Jeff Storm. Farther back it's Northern Michigan standout Jamie Iverson in the 97 racing with the damaged 43 car of fast qualifier Johnny Sauter. Brett Sontag and Travis Sauter are an announcer and scorer's nightmare with those black five cars continuing to battle for position. The fight for third has Heist trying to hold off Schendel and Donnie Reavers who won the last tour event at Wisconsin Dells Raceway Park. Jeff Storm has led from the drop of the green and Whitewater Wisconsin's Russ Blakely runs a strong second. Blakely finished second at Jefferson a year ago. Now it's Sontag, Schendel, Sauter, and Dan Fredrickson, the point leader. Farther back, Stratford, Wisconsin's Mark Krause is working on Stevie Campbell, who won that qualifying race. We're approaching halfway, and it's Jeff Storm continuing to set the pace. But Reavers is coming on in the 41 car. And Donnie Reavers will make the pass for the lead. Reavers takes the top spot from Storm. Trouble for Johnny Sauter. He'll take that black 43 car to the pits. It's going to come down to a battle between Donnie Reavers in the 41 and Brett Sontag in the 5. One of the real attractions of the ASA Midwest Tour is local drivers battling the touring stars at their home track. And we've got a great side by side battle here. Reavers on the inside trying to hold the top spot. Sontag looking to get it done on the high side. This crowd is on its feet and there are a lot of Brett Sontag fans here. This may be the best race for the lead we have seen on the Midwest Tour all season. Reavers finally clears Sontag and the yellow waves. Brian Roach has gone around. After the restart defending race champion Dan Fredrickson gets past Sontag on the high side. He'll try to chase down Reavers. Sontag will hold on for third ahead of Travis Sauter and Dell's runner up Steve Carlson. Donnie Reavers had to fight for this one and the 07 Midwest Tour Championship runner up takes his second straight win in 08 winning the Echo Power Blower 100 presented by ProSource Motorsports and Hype Energy Drink. Well that just goes to support what this series is all about that you know this is about local drivers that are just going around to different tracks and and uh, you know every rate every track you go to there's local guys that can come compete with us any day of the week you know so that just goes to prove that that uh, you know, not, not what you see on TV is not always, you know, maybe some of the best out there. The ASA Quick Trip Midwest Tour is presented by Echo Outdoor Power Equipment. Special thanks to Skag Power Equipment, Hype Energy Drink, and Pony Express Motor Coaches. I'm Bill Holland with your ASA Midwest Tour online update. Next tour stop, July 5th, I-94 Raceway in Sauk Center, Minnesota, the July Spectacular 100.